Hello guys and welcome back to channel, my name's Heister and thank you for coming along today. On this episode we are in Prehistoric Kingdom and we are building a T-Rex habitat. Now I just want to say uh, I'm very very grateful again for your comments, uh, your support means a lot to me and it gives me so much motivation to continue so thank you so much for that. Now for this habitat we wanted to build something a little bit larger because I kind of felt like I built uh, the last two dinosaurs, kind of like a one bedroom flat where they couldn't really move. And uh, they just kind of like was in there and it was like, oh, I've got nowhere to go now, so I need more room. So I focused on the Styracosaurus and I adjusted the size of that. So if you'll see on the screen any minute now where the original size is, is the bird's eye view. And now you can see the new size, which is how I've kind of enlarged it. So it's about 30 to 40 percent larger. So it allows them to roam and uh, feel a little bit more natural in their environment. But... I do think that when you're inside from the cabin view to view the Styracosauruses, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, that they, they look kind of far away, but I'm guessing, you know, when you go into a zoo and you, for instance, you might go see elephants or something, they have huge land. And that's the same for rhinos as well. I know in England there's a rhino area in one of the parks in England where you view the rhinos, but the, the area is so large, it's like at the back, it looks like they're just little ants and you're like, I can't really see them, but... It's more about the animals and how their environment is, not necessarily all about your view as well. So if they have a lovely space and lovely area, I think that's the most important thing. Now for the T-Rex, I wanted to build a bigger habitat as well. Give them some more space to roam around. I kind of feel like um, being the biggest animal so far in this release that it needs a lot of space, especially because they do run about as well in the game. So it'd be nice to see them move. So as I was building it, I wanted to, uh, I used the largest fence possible for that. would be the safest bet. That would stop the T-Rexes coming through and eating every single human's head uh, possible. So um, after I built that and I looked at it, you'll see in a slow clip as I just kind of go along it as if you used to view, you will see that you can't really see very well into the habitat. So I replaced it with the medium fence, which is electric fence or looks like one. And that would just allow the guests to see a lot better in there. But you, you could say a T-Rex could probably put its head over the top and chomp down on the humans, but again, it's uh, it's a game, so we'll just pretend that's not going to happen. And uh, yeah, I just I kind of feel like I want the guests to see them pretty well. With the build, I, I never had anything set in plan either. This was just kind of a free a free play, free roam kind of experience. I did have a look on Pinterest, but nothing grabbed me. I mean, if you try uh, searching like a T-Rex habitat, you just kind of get this open land and it just gives you kind of the environment that was kind of like suggested what they lived in before. So I just kind of went with uh, just going with that vibe where I just wanted it to be really open for them, lots of space to move about and uh, just put down some foliage and trees and just make it nice and cozy, I guess. Cozy, yeah, it can be cozy, I guess, yeah. So make it really nice and just comfy for them and uh, of course, giving the guests a nice view. Uh, so yes guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, I hope you enjoyed the series so far, if there's anything you'd like me to do, uh, maybe think I should add, or maybe I could build something, because I haven't uh, built anything uh, quite detailed yet, like, uh, like I did in my last series where I built like a hotel, a cable car and that, but um, I would like to build something else, but again I'm just kind of a bit running a bit thin on the ideas and what I could in, like add into the, uh, the park itself, but yes guys, enjoy the video, uh, let me know what you want to see as well, and uh, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoy it, and I will catch you very soon, so see you later guys, bye bye.